Hi, Leo. It is Elle here to do your uh, weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. So, Leo, when I was getting in meditation, so immediately I got Pisces, and then I got white, and then I got fairy, and like flying. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe you're fairy, or maybe you're seeing fairies, or maybe you're flying. Um, Pisces could be significant, or Pisces season, okay? Pisces, Neptune, so your emotions here. Um, the planet furthest from the sun here. Um, slow rotation, so something is slow, slow emotion, somebody slow to show emotion or, or not at all, they don't show, let's see what's going on for Pisces. Let's see, oh, not for Pisces, for Leo. Nine of Cups, so that's a Piscean card. Yeah, Ace of Swords just fell out in reverse. None of the cards should be reversed. So maybe emotional contentment, stability, luxury, or maybe you found emotional contentment, luxury, stability with, with by yourself, or somebody is acting alone, or they're acting, uh, they keep their emotions to themselves. With the Ace of Swords, there's no, no change here. Nothing is changing. No one, someone is not willing to make a, a divide, a divide from their other life. Maybe of uh, being single and being a ladies man or, or ladies woman or, you don't know, being out there. Somebody's not able to make their relationship mature. Yeah, three of cups. It's always friends or family or social activities. Somebody is still out there. It's third party situation, Knight of Wands. This is 20 degrees Leo, 20 degrees Cancer. Somebody is wanting the relationship. Somebody is wanting to be in the connection. But there's a lot of singular energy. I heard there's a lot of deference or interference. Somebody keeps up, you know, they keep a lot of different energies surrounding the relationship. So they don't have to deal with their person solo. Knight of Wands. Yeah, Three of Swords. It's like something is not, it's not progressing. It's not moving forward. The Wands cards, it could be you, Leo. It's like you want something to progress. Sex could be withheld here. Um, there could be talks of division, separation, divorce. Yeah, and maybe somebody moving on because someone's inability to express their emotions to say I love you or to tell you exactly how they feel about you. Somebody is more so concerned with material gain. Maybe even an older gentleman. This could be same sex because we got two kings coming out. One person is after material wealth gain and the other person is more so about chemistry, desire, fun. This relationship has become a burden, the Ten of Wands. There is mutual beneficial energy between the two, you, two of you. There is love, there's likeness, there's friendship, there's an opportunity for marriage. Somebody wants to reconcile, but at the same time, there could be a third, third party, a third energy. Somebody feels like the other person is cheating, playing games. Um, there's a win-lose draw type of energy here. I'm going to make you, is what I heard, the, the death card. Somebody says real nasty words, real tough things, to where somebody wants to end the relationship. Yeah, there's, it, or it's dying. Death doesn't happen most times. It doesn't happen suddenly. A death could be slow. So this could be the dying of a relationship. It could be, the, yeah the transition into something else, into some significant change. Somebody is also, their fortune is changing. Somebody feels like there's somebody else that they're dealing with. So it, it could be you, Leo, trapped in your thoughts about, yeah, nine of swords about this being over. 
about somebody else coming in between the relationship. What's the advice here for Leo? It could be for you, it could be for somebody else. It's just like, you feel like um, it's somebody else. I don't know if it's been confirmed or not, but it's just like you feel like there's somebody else, it's somebody else, somebody else, somebody else, you know, or you feel like there's an energy that is dr driving a wedge. Yeah, the advice for you is to be the beauty queen. Put yourself out there. Uh, post on social media. People see you living your best life. People see you looking good, smelling good, doing good. Okay, I got one more advice. Whoa, advice card. Union. And then two of the stones fell on the floor. So there, it definitely could be a union here. Um, somebody could be jealous in this union. If someone's trying to make somebody jealous, yeah, passion, trying to get somebody to, you know, ignite or reignite the passion for this union, trying to make somebody court them, courting man. So somebody feels like, if I post all these pictures, if I look good, if I this, that, this person will come back or the, the passion will be reignited for this union. Maybe I'll get them to pop the question. I'll get them to travel towards me or put the energy towards me. I'll get them to want to work on this relationship. Somebody's got a lot of options in love and they need to choose. They know they need to choose. You should work on this relationship, yeah. The Queen of Swords. Um, but you need to put up boundaries, yeah, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you should work on this relationship, but it's gonna take some time in order to get what you want out of this particular person. This is what I have for you, Leo. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Readings are 50% off. Use code 50OFF at checkout. You can also um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night where I do a collective reading and then I answer your questions. Thank you, many blessings to you, take care.